Hello again and thank you for joining me on the Domesticated Nature channel. Uh, I wanted to make a video about my recent attempts at outdoor gardening again because in the past videos I've mentioned that I have failed at this in the past. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through on what I've got so far. It's, I've got miles and miles to go but I just wanted to make a video showing you where I'm at so far. So over here, this is kind of where it ends thus far after those rhubarbs. I kind of dug out this little area that juts out into the yard a little bit around these poles. And I dug this out and I put some weed matting down with some mulch on it. And I moved these irises from over by my garage to over here in a line. And I got some alyssums, planted those around here. And that needs to be fixed a little bit because where you can see the weed matting, that's because the weeds are actually pushing up so hard that they've sort of bubbled up the weed matting. So that needs to be fixed, and I kind of need to de-weed it a little bit. This was my first attempt with actual weed matting, so that's going to take some doing. And then on these poles here, these come up. And there's some bird feeders up here, and I need to refill these because the birds have been going crazy. Especially the grackles. I hate those, and they cleaned out the suet uh, feeder which kind of upsets me but I'll keep putting food out because there's other birds that are pretty and I like to watch so and then around here got a shepherd's hook and this is my angel's trumpet I have high hopes for this because I really like the way those look when they're nice and big and full this should be a white one so hopefully it'll grow really nice and big this I still haven't finished this is in front of my crawl space here. I got to get the rocks out. This is what I've been dealing with for the most part because at one point or another, this is where I dumped all my bricks and rock and things that I've chipped out of the basement when I poured new slabs of concrete. So this whole area back here was full of stuff like this and I've had to dig this out and get down and then angle the dirt away from the house and then weed mat and then mulch. So, And I still need to pull these ferns out, but once we get past here, I'm on a pretty good path here. This guy in the pot here is a Musa Bastu banana tree. I got this from my local Steins. I've been meaning to get one of these for a few years now. I actually did try one in the past and didn't have luck with it, but this guy is the world's cold hardiest banana tree. It's cold hardy down to about 20 below zero. And when it's in the ground, if you mulch around its base, it can actually survive even a little bit cooler than that once it's protected from the wind. This guy is still in a pot, not in the ground, because I think I'm gonna let it grow a little bit and uh, maybe in future years, if we ever get a nice warm spring, I'll plant it in the spring and let it establish its roots. But for right now, just in a temporary pot so I can bring it in in the winter. Again, I've got down here more weed matting with mulch on it. And then these are some coral bells that I planted. I didn't really pay attention uh, when I put these in the ground. These are more of a shade plant, these coral bells and this area especially during the summer, actually gets more sun than I thought it did. So I noticed that this pink one has been growing pretty well. So hopefully that's it's okay because it's not getting sun all day, but we will see. I also recently added a faucet out here, which took some doing because this is a crawl space. So I had to go through the outside wall of the house to get the plumbing out here. And there was a lot of places where I was worried about leaks with all the compression fittings but so far so good it's been a couple days I haven't noticed any leaks and then this runs over here to a hose reel over the AC unit and then on the other side of the AC unit next to my fake hawk guy which is supposed to deter birds but doesn't work very well I've got another coral bell under the downspout and then some red uh, painted ferns that aren't so red yet hopefully when they get bigger they'll be red and I've got this little pathway that I Put through my mulch, I even put a few rocks out into the yard. I thought that would look nice. Then once you get past that, there's a couple more painted ferns. And then if you look real close right here, this little green guy right here. This is a wisteria vine. Very, very, very small. I ordered uh, a lot of plants off of youngseed.com and they came in a lot smaller than what I was hoping. I could have gone to my local steins and paid a little bit more for full-grown plants. The same with those painted ferns. 
kind of upset with how small everything came in and the fact that it is now almost June and a lot of these like these trumpet vines which came in as these twigs here still don't have leaves on them and again it's June I could have gotten things like this from my local steins paying a little bit more for an adult plant which would have been established by now so in the future I probably won't be ordering from young seed um, like I said, there's two trumpet vines. Here's one, too. One is a yellow one, one is a red one. So I'm looking forward to those growing. I need to get some kind of trellis or lattice so that they can climb. And then over here, another little nubby, stubby guy right here. There's another little wisteria, which again hasn't gotten any, any leaves on it yet. But I still have hope that pretty soon here it's going to establish. So, And then in the front... I have all these solar these solar grass kind of lights. They're bendable. They're kind of neat. So far, so good. I've read some bad reviews about them, but I bought them anyways. And they were lit up the whole night, the first night. So I got those off of Amazon, if anyone is interested in those. There's three in a set, and they each have their own solar panel. The sun is almost to the point where this little butterfly guy is starting to flutter this is a solar butterfly he's pretty cool it's pretty lifelike when the sun hits it it flutters it almost looks real i also got that off of amazon most of my decor out here i got from amazon so if anyone is interested check that out and they have a lot of great prices on there the fake owl that's supposed to deter squirrels and rabbits and things i was worried about rabbits eating my plants so i got this guy then back here I dug all this out. There used to be hostas back here and I dug all those out, put the weed matting and the mulch down and then put some decorative grass back here as well as a bird bath. I also put some bamboo fence up. I thought that was a nice look for a backdrop. I pounded some stakes in the ground and attached it to that. So I thought that had kind of a nice look to it. I also put some busted up concrete around the base, again from my basement when I poured some new slabs and stuff. So as I go into the shade here, you can see that it goes around the, the base and comes back to this little thing in the back of my garage here. And then once we get to the other side of my rain barrel here, more of it comes along the front and I still have to grab a few more pieces to complete the whole garage here yet but these are more bricks that I got out of my basement and then another solar decoration I have is a solar dragonfly guy he's pretty cool it's almost lifelike so basically that's what I've got so far I've got miles and miles and miles to go seems like a never-ending process here but that's all I had really planned for this year, so any direction I take from this point on is just going to be kind of, I guess, random, or I'm going to have to plan for next year, because this is all the further I had planned. So, uh, Once again, thank you for joining me on the Domesticated Nature channel. As usual, this is Ben. If you have any questions for me whatsoever, please feel free to comment at the end of this video, and I will be sure to read them and respond. So I appreciate you watching my videos, and I hope to be seeing you guys again soon.